Okay, we are now at the FMARS laboratory in which we went out on an EVA and guess what we discovered on the EVA? We discovered a mineral called gypsum, which is the same kind of mineral that we actually find on Mars. And here is an example of what gypsum looks like. What is really important about this gypsum is it contains water. Where you say, well look at this gypsum, it looks like it's really dirty here. Well it really doesn't make any difference if you have dirty gypsum or if you have clean gypsum like this. Water is water. Now the only reason we may want to get the clean gypsum is because we may want a clean byproduct of it's called uh, plaster of Paris, which we will get after we extract water. All right, how much water can we actually extract from gypsum? Well this particular piece right here contains about two teaspoons of water. All we have to do is heat it to pretty close to around 300 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll be able to extract the water. Now as an experiment here on FMRs, what I decided to do is to save time instead of having I go and putting a big piece of rock and heating it, I decided to get the, make some dust. Well you see this is fairly easy. In fact actually you can scratch gypsum with your fingernail. So what we did is we ground it up and we made some dust and then we put it in a modern pestle and we ground it up and now we have basically 100 grams of gypsum right in here. Now I have here a, a condensation device. I have a heater in which I will put the gypsum in here and then I will move this over and put the condensation device on this. And over time what we're going to see uh, which we'll come back to, we'll start seeing it a close-up where, where the gypsum, the heat will break the water out of the gypsum and the water will come along this hollow tube in here and we'll see where water is deposited along here. Okay, now we're basically 15 minutes later and you'll notice that in 15 minutes we already have water that's come, that is actually being driven off of the gypsum by the heat the water vapor then comes up into the tube. We can see where it, we'll look at a close-up of this in a minute. We'll see where the water is condensing in here. Steam will bring more water in here. This is, an, this is a tube inside of a tube. And so what we're seeing in here is that we have cool air here, hot air here, which is making the water condense in here. And then in a few minutes we'll take a look and we'll actually see where there is liquid water at the bottom of the uh, of the tube. Notice the water that's uh, actually being driven out of the gypsum. It's condensing here, which is being created as steam. It's coming further out in here. We see where it's being condensed along the tube. And in fact, there's a drop of water that's getting ready to fall down about. Come on, water. Maybe if I give it a little bit of a tap. We have a bit of water that's getting ready to drop. There we go. So we actually have water that actually comes out of rock and we'll take a look at this a little bit later and we'll have a little bit more water that's coming out of the rock. And it is actually two hours later and what do we have? We have nothing, the gypsum has been, uh, all the water has been taken off the gypsum and all we have now is plaster of Paris which we can use for, it for cement or for molding or for making sheet rock or whatever you want to make. But the most important product that we have here is water. And what do we see here? This is water. Let me take this off for you. Is that showing up there? No, in the background. Okay, and what we have here is liquid water. Now you've got to recognize that this was probably water about 30 million years ago. On Mars, when you find the water, it's going to probably be a, a few billion years ago that the uh, water formed in the gypsum. And so here we have water that we can drink water that we can use for making oxygen, water that we can use for making energy, and uh, for the Plaster of Paris, here I've created, a, I took a, an earlier sample of the Plaster of Paris and made a little mold and made a little emblem out of it. And so this is one of the useful minerals that we can find on Mars, and we were able to create this in the Mars Habitat with the, uh, the Mars Habitat with the uh, FMARS uh, 12-2009 crew.